Well, Chris, what have you got for me uh, here? All right, Ash, what we've done is we've set the heat chamber up to 15 degrees. Yep. And we're going to hook you up. We're going to measure oxygen consumption. Yep. We're going to measure heart rate. We're going to measure core body temperature. Yep. And then you get you running on the treadmill for about 10 to 15 minutes. Yep. And then we're going to increase the temperature of the chamber up yep. to about 40 degrees. 40 degrees? Yeah, and then we're going to look at your physiological responses at those temperatures. Yep. Okay. All right, so let's get you started. Okay, hook me up. I'm ready to go. Alright, that's we set the speed, um, set the chamber, and we're just going to close the chamber up and leave you inside and just monitor you from outside. When we're exercising the heat, we'll, we'll see heart rates elevated. Uh, a lot of that becomes um, more pronounced, especially when you exercise for a lot longer because you sweat out um, your blood volume, and that has a big impact on your ability of your heart to pump blood around your body. So Chris, the big question we want to find out today is do West Coast Eagles players have an advantage over Victorian teams when they come to Perth early in the season? Yeah, there's definitely advantages um, competing against these teams, uh, especially when they're competing in the hotter environments. So when you're training during exercise in the heat, you tend to store a lot more fluid yep. in your body, and that allows you to exercise just that little bit further. Those West Coast players are getting the heat acclimatisation during their training session. So we'll start sweating earlier in order to try and cool our body a lot quicker. And from that, if we can sweat earlier, we can also sweat for longer, we can help to maintain our core body temperature longer. So with the Eastern teams, when they come over to Perth and playing in hot environments, their core temperature will tend to increase a lot um, faster, but also to much higher temperatures compared to people that heat acclimatise, like the West Coast Eagles. At what stage of the game should we start to see our boys really have this advantage? If they're here to acclimatise, we generally see that they can perform a lot better in the second half of an event. So about 30 minutes for us to reach critically high core body temperatures. And if they're here to acclimatise, it'll take a little bit longer to reach that. So we'll see these advantages typically in the second half. The heat in Perth is a lot drier. Um, and that helps us to evaporate uh, fluid very quickly and helps us to cool our body very quickly. So when we sweat, that evaporation helps us to cook, bring our core body temperature down quite quickly. What's the biggest danger to the body when overheating? When you're exercising in the heat, core body temperature goes up and your body does everything it, it can to try and protect that core body temperature. If our body temperature is going up much above 40 degrees, 41 degrees, we start essentially cooking the brain. And so what our body does, it'll reduce exercise intensity in order to try and prevent that from happening. Good work, Matt. Thanks, Chris. So how did I go? Oh, uh, great. So if we have a look at the data here, yep. we can see that in the cold trial, you were under much more, or much less physiological stress. Yep. So you can see the heart rate was down, core body temperature was down, yep. and also oxygen consumption was down. So the West Coast boys are working probably less harder, if you want to call it that, uh, than the Victorian boys when they come across? Yeah, so if we, if we look at an unacclimatised person, we yep. expect these differences to be much greater. Okay, so it's an advantage to me to have been over here for nine years yeah, so far. Definitely. Well, beautiful, mate. That is sensational. I hope you guys have found it as interesting as I have. Thanks for your time, Chris. Much appreciated. And, and that's it for this week from uh, ECU Exercise Science.